Well, I think like all football coaches, you go through preseason camp <laughs> and you really feel you, you've put together a pretty good product. Of course, we're all undefeated before we play the first game and, you know, everyone would like to stay that way. But I think as we went through that camp preparing for our opener, we had a football team. Uh, we had a lot of veterans coming back. We did have a brand new quarterback in Tom Earhart. But as often has been stated many times here, the team we had in 1983 may have been as good as any of the championship teams we had had. So our expectations were high. We had lost, uh, I think, four games in 1983, and three of them by a total of four points. So, but for four points, you could say we're a nine and one football team. So we thought we would have a good football team. We were excited about our new quarterback, Tom Earhart. He had uh, redshirted with us that preceding season, the 83 season. And of course, he was outstanding and against our own defense. And then he had had a, a, a very good preseason camp. So I would say we were optimistic for the season and obviously that uh, we would get things done in our home opener uh, against Howard. <laughs> well, you know, I, the only thing I remember was Howard had, uh, they had a, uh, a coach, uh, Willie Jeffries, who had come down from uh, uh, Wichita State, when they gave up football or were ready to give up football, he had uh, come back into the uh, into Coach Howard, and he had been there the year before, and they had struggled. They were, I think, a two and eight football team or something, but uh, he felt that they had really made some progress, and they were going to be a very competitive football team in their uh, in their league in the MEAC uh, that year. So, you know, we thought Harvard, I mean, uh, Howard was going to provide uh, a decent test for us, but. You know, I think we were uh, confident that if we went out and did things right, uh, we'd be able to get the job done. Well, I, I think that the, it was something like, you know, we had a three touchdown lead at halftime, and, and I think the team and obviously the coaches, we may have relaxed some. And Tom Earhart, uh, Tom was not as sharp as we had, as had would have expected, so we weren't throwing the ball as much as we would start to throw it in the weeks to come. and. Uh, you know, Tom did end up with a touchdown pass early, and then he got uh, he took a couple of knocks, and, and uh, he, we took him to the sideline, and we went with two other quarterbacks, Mike Cassidy, who later became a great defensive back for us, and Greg Farland, who was a freshman. And, and uh, they both played pretty well, and, and uh, uh, Paul Stringfellow kicked a late field goal and, and really put it back out of reach. But, uh, yeah, there were some anxious moments, and as I say, for Tom, it was uh, – it was not a debut that would, uh, you know, folks might say, boy, this is heralding great things to come. But uh, I think we knew in our heart great things were coming and Tom was going to be special. And uh, although he was not that day, he certainly became that over the next couple of weeks. Well, we did. We, uh, Rich was a transfer from West Point and uh, he was a big kid, about 6'1", about 215 pounds and a sprinter. And uh, we thought in Rich we had a very, very capable running back. And obviously, you know, it was the opener, and Tommy only threw the ball 14 times, I think. And as a team, we might have thrown it in the, in the 25 to 30 range, which as that season went on, it, we'll see it, get, it was getting up to the 40, 50, uh, 60 range. So uh, Rich was a big part of it uh, as our tailback. And, uh, you know, he did a nice job, and he delivered on the ground for us that day.